If your kid can't control their appetite, his or her appetite, should you lose control of your kids? A researcher and a doctor at Harvard University are now recommending that if a child becomes extremely obese, taking custody away from the parents may be the only option left. But should the government really be getting involved? Joining us for a controversial debate, you guys have been weighing in on this all week, Dr. Henry Cloud is a clinical psychologist and author of Necessary Endings, and Dr. Sridhar Podaratsu, CEO of Vital Springs Technology. Docs, nice to see both of you this morning. Welcome to Fox & Friends. Thank you. Good to be here. Dr. Cloud, talk me down off of this, because I happen to fall in the Bill O'Reilly camp on this one. I, I, the other night saying he believes in 99th percentile of these kids. You're reaching the highest level here. He says this, this sounds like child abuse. Parents not doing anything. These kids are getting morbidly obese to the point in which they could die. How is this not child abuse? Well, in extreme, extreme cases, you, you've got to take care of kids. But, but here's the problem. You don't solve a problem by creating a bigger problem. The two things you've always got to worry about with children is, number one, first and foremost, the bonding and the attachment development, and secondly, the right. structure. And what they're doing is they're adding structure or suggesting to add structure with a total disruption of bonding, especially with young kids, and that concerns me. Uh, that's an interesting point, Dr. Cloud. And Dr. Podoratsu, what do you say to that, this idea that separating these kids from a family, taking them away, this bond is so vitally important to their development, is that less important than the weight issue? You know, it's ironic that if there's really a bonding issue, then the parents are really going to care about that health of the individual and that child and taking them out of yeah. an environment that's completely neglecting their health. You know, bonding is important, but when you've got a kid that's in the 99th percentile that's on the verge of morbid obesity and type 2 diabetes, the whole issue of bonding goes out the window. It's sort of a ludicrous argument because if there really oh, was no, no, bonding, no, no, no. then somebody would that's care. Then they would have intervened before. So Dr. bonding Cloud, clearly no, doesn't Cloud, you disagree that, that with is that. a total it misunderstanding. Look. No, it's not, it's not reasonable to say that, that if somebody is able to bond as a parent or if a family is bonded, that they also possess the ability to add structure and discipline. If you're going to help, and, and, and all of that is there, use the same resources that, that you would pay a foster parent to bring a coach into the home and help the family treat the whole system to add the discipline and structure. I agree that, that the medical aspects of this, of this are important. But here's a big problem. You can't throw bonding out the window because resolving obesity over the course of a lifetime, everything we right. know but beyond says, that, but yeah, they, nobody, but beyond nobody that, is talking Dr. about... Dr. Podorazzi will give me the final word on this because at the end of the day, do you want the state being able to handle these resources? Where are they going to go? They're going to go into foster care. Is that better? Well, in, the, in those kids that are in the 99th percentile where we have exhausted all of the options that have just been mentioned, and the other option then is going to bariatric surgery where the economic resources to be spent on these kids over a lifetime is going to be enormous, then yeah, we've got to get pretty aggressive. We can't just sit back and say, look, it's okay to neglect these kids and let them, you know, fall over the cliff. It's sad that we're even having no, this debate in this that. country. Uh, certainly, we, I think we all agree that we certainly have a weight problem in this, but we're talking about the most extreme cases here, the 99th percentile and above. That's right. Dr. Henry Cloud, uh, the author of Necessary Findings, go check that book out as well as Dr. Uh, Podorat. We appreciate you joining us both uh, this morning. Thanks so much.